Hey guys, today we'll show you how to add such low efforts graphics into your live stream. We will use this free animated low efforts plugin for OBS Studio with Doctable Control Panel version 1.6. Let's download it and install our files. We need to extract them. And I highly recommend you to make a copy of these files and put it in your OBS Studio folder. Let's create a new folder which we'll call plugins. And here we can create another folder and call it low efforts. After that we can place our files right here. Just to be sure that we will stay in one place and we won't lose them. We can jump into our OBS Studio and add new doc. Choose Docs in menu and custom browser stocks. After that we can give it a name, let's call it title. And here we need to place our path to our file. In my case I will just make a copy of it, place it here and we need to add control panel file. Click apply and we will see our new doc. We can place our doc where we need. I would like to keep it on the left side of OBS Studio. After that we need to create a new scene. Call it low efforts. We need to add browser link. Call it title. And here we need to place our path to our file which is browse source html. Let's make a copy of our path and add the file. I definitely recommend you to change the resolutions of the screen settings here. So that I will delete custom style and press OK. To see our animation we just need to type some text in two lines. Let's call it test and my name. As you can see, right now we can see our animation. Unfortunately, hotkeys doesn't work on this version. I hope it will be fixed in future updates. Here we have a main settings and our lower third settings. You have at least four lower third settings and you also can add up to 10 prepared lower thirds and choose between them or play them automatically. I will go through the main settings first and to show your animation you need to change the position of slider. And just remember if you will turn off the slider of the main settings you won't see your animation. By opening main settings you can see three fields. Global time, it means how fast our animations will be played. I found out the comfortable for me, the time is around 2 seconds to play for the animation. You can see the result. It plays smooth and fast, but if I will change it, for example, up to 5 seconds, it will be appear so slowly. And I don't really like it, so I will keep it around 2 seconds. On, on the second field we can place how long our lower thirds is gonna be active. I would like to see my lower thirds around 7 seconds. Let's test it. And after the 7 seconds our lower thirds just disappears. And lastly we can set the timer for playing our lower thirds, for example in each 10 seconds. But I would like to keep it inactive. By pressing show more you can adjust the following settings. You can choose the style of the dog, enable or hide preview window, hide numbers of memory slots or show them. I would like to see them. And you can change the positions of slider from right to left. The second tab is allow us to choose a custom font. Here we need to type font family and put our path to this font. And here you also can choose your logos. Just remember, if you want to put your own logo, it should be located in the same folder where your plugin in folder named logos and have the same names. The best solution for you just to create your logos, put the same names and just replace them. 
After that, you will see your logo here in the program. Don't forget to reload UV OBS to show your logo. And if you want, you can import or export your data. Let's close the main settings and see what kind of settings do we have in lower third. And here we can adjust the position of our animation from the left to the right side. We can choose the style of our lower thirds. We have three options here. You can choose which one do you like more and we can adjust the size of our animation. After that we can change the position of it. For example, move it a little bit to the right, to the left. You can place the animation in any place of the screen. The second line is allow us to change the text size and the space between them. We can also change the font right here if you don't like the default one. But I'm just fine with open sense. On the third line I can show or hide my logo and work with shadows. Here we can change the colors of our line and background as well as the text itself right here. For example, I can make it pink. On the last line we can make rounder corners or for example enable or disable the borders. Here we can change the color of the border. You also have a few slots which you can fill up with your lower thirds and after that playing them by automatically if you would like to. As for the editing these animations to live, I found out the best option for me. Let me show it to you. We go into our item software control and put on our upstream key. After that we change chroma type to Luma and we can fill up our source, laptop and key source is media player 1. The following parameters pre-multiplied Kli, I put clip on 12% and gain on 100%. In this case I can clearly see the animations on live. But you can adjust these settings up to your lower thirds and see what result you can get. We ideally to have a result without any artifacts on your image. With such method you can add lower thirds graphics to your life and prepared a few of them and play automatically if you would like to. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye!